The government is under fire for being willing to fast-track the approval process for domestic COVID vaccines. Two made-in-Taiwan vaccines are in the pipeline, and both may be fast-tracked for emergency use authorization, allowing them to roll out before starting Phase 3 trials. In response to critics who raised safety concerns, one vaccine maker said its Phase 2 safety trial was so large that it would qualify overseas as a Phase 3 trial. An infectious disease expert said that in extraordinary times, flexibility was needed to get life-saving vaccines out to market. In an exclusive interview with FTV, the former vice president said Medigen's COVID vaccine candidate is based on the same genetic foundation as the Moderna vaccine. We have a company here that is using the same subunits, the same genes as Moderna's vaccine. In other words, Moderna used them to make an mRNA vaccine and our company used them to make a protein vaccine. It takes more time for protein vaccines to get the cells in our bodies to produce antibody subunits, so it takes a longer time to make them. Medigen plans to submit its Phase 2 clinical report in early June and to apply for emergency use authorization in late June. That means the vaccines could be available as early as mid-July. Meanwhile, United Biomedical plans to submit its Phase 2 clinical trial results in mid-June and to obtain emergency use authorization in July. Its vaccine could launch as soon as August. On Tuesday, United Biomedical defended its vaccine against critics who said it had yet to complete Phase 2 testing. Typically, a foreign vaccine maker only needs to do a Phase 2 trial with 400 to 600 people. But the health ministry asked us to use 3,000 or 4,000 subjects in our Phase 2 trials. Internationally, that would be enough for Phase 2 and 3 trials. The coronavirus outbreak has spread suddenly and fast. We're equipping our arsenal as we're waging war. So I think that exceptions ought to be made in certain circumstances. In the U.S., the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines also went down some roundabout paths. Experts say the situation calls for flexibility in vaccine regulations and that local vaccines are key to returning to normalcy.